Morning, Greg. Morning, Peter. How are you this morning? I'm doing wonderful. How, how are you? I am. I am doing good. How does it feel waking up uh, like two weeks in a row with the number one movie in the world? I can't look anywhere without it saying the number one movie in the world. Uh, well, we're just appreciative that the fans are still coming out to support us. You know, you do a franchise like this and you, you never take it for granted. You're always hoping that the fans are going to stay with you and hope that all, they don't all of a sudden uh, wake up and decide to move on to something else. And uh you know, we've, we went to work hoping that the fans would come out, and, and they have. So uh, I'm very proud of the film. I think Bill Condon did a great job, and, and I'm excited for the fans to see it. Yeah, uh, speaking of the fans, we have a guy here. His name, his name is Chad, and uh, today is his wife's birthday. And uh, apparently she's a huge fan of yours, and it would make her day if you could just tell her, you know, like, happy birthday. I think he's trying to get in good for later, you know. It's going to make what, – what, What's her name? Her name is Sandra Christopher. If you could just tell her happy birthday, it'd make her day and maybe make his night, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. Sandra Christopher, happy birthday. May you live many, many, many years. <laughs> so, uh, Peter, thank you so much for doing that for her. Uh, were you kind of ready – to, to let go of this character a little bit? I know you still got the, the second half, but, I mean, you, you've got so many other things going on. Were you ready just to kind of move in a different direction? Um, I think after the last film, we shot both movies back-to-back, -back, so we shot for six months long, and, you know, after doing that for six months straight, we were all kind of ready to, you know, move on. But uh, looking back, I'll be sad that, that that character's over. I always get a little melancholy when I finish a character knowing that I won't play him again. But uh, he'll always live on on film, so I'll get to visit him. Yeah, get to get to look at, it. and then you'll have the the premiere next year. So I mean, he's not completely gone for right now. Yeah. But you've got things like uh, Lucy's coming up that that you uh, wrote and starred in and produced. But yeah, I'm very excited about that film. I wrote and starred and produced a movie called Lucy's. I play a pickpocket in New York who has has kind of a fast, loose kind of lifestyle, and then he ends up getting a girl pregnant on a one night stand. His whole world, you know, goes upside down and. And uh, it's kind of a love story with comedic elements, and it's also a coming-of-age story for this 30-year-old guy who lives with his mom and has to take responsibility for something, you know? That, that, that can be kind of scary. Uh, but I, I must admit, of all the things that I've seen you in, um, my favorite is probably uh, The Wonder Twins. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I sat in a – when I was kind of researching and looking up some stuff, and I found that you you had kind of – did you direct all of those? I was cracking up when uh, when you were like there and, and you know, uh, Wonder Twins water and then, you know, the turtle. It was just yeah. – I was cracking up on those. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I directed these shorts for uh, College Humor, and, uh, and the premise was Hollywood's running out of superheroes. So that we had open casting calls for superheroes to come and possibly get their own franchise. And we had actors come in and, and uh, dress up, you know, come in as the superhero, not as an actor playing the superhero, but as the superhero. So Nikki Reed and I did the Wonder Twins, and that was a lot of fun. We were in full costume. You have to, if you haven't seen it, look it up online. It's pretty funny. Yeah, it's it's great. We encourage everybody to go look at it. Now, I know that you've got like Nurse Jack. You've got so much going on. And when you have time, is there like, you know, in, in your downtime, is there a movie or anything that you could, if it comes on TV or something, is there something that you can watch over and over again? Uh, I'm a big Paul Newman fan. So any movie with Paul Newman, I'm, yeah, you know, that comes great. on TV, I have to stop and watch that. I, I mean, HUD. Uh, cool Hand Luke, Butch Cassidy, the Sundance Kid. I mean, they're all great. Peter, we, we thank you so much for joining us this morning on, on Film Fiend. Continued success with uh, with Breaking Dawn, and I'm sure we'll see. Uh, I'll be seeing part two of Breaking Dawn uh, when it comes out next year. Just thank you for joining us and continued success. Oh, thanks. Hey, check out Lucy's if you can. It's uh, You can download it on iTunes or it's on video on demand right now. All right. It looks great. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you.